Welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with another video and today I am back with another testing video Which I am so excited for. I've got loads of these videos coming up on my channel So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications So you never miss an upload from me. But today I'm gonna be testing something that's literally been released a couple of days ago. This is the new Beauty Bay highlighter palette. If you didn't know already, Beauty Bay are now their own brand in the sense that they now have makeup products. So they brought out eyeshadow palettes, they brought out brushes. I did test the brush collection um, a couple of weeks ago now. I was very impressed with that and the eyeshadow palettes as well. I don't think they brought out anything else. They did a collab with Jordan Lipscomb, which, oh my god, I did a video on them as well. They were insane. Also did a collaboration with Saffron Barker. But today I picked up one of the Living My Best Light palettes. I got the shade Ethereal. I think that's how you say it. Packaging is so reflective and so pretty. So I'm actually going to get into this. I'm going to swatch the palette. I'm going to give you my th first thoughts. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm not wearing any highlighter on my face. So I'm going to be testing it on my face and see how well it works, how bright it is. Without further ado, I'm just going to get onto the video and tell you my thoughts on on this new Beauty Bay palette. I would also just like to add that I am really, really sorry if I'm a bit off in this video. I have not had the best few days. I've just been a little bit down over the past couple of days. Um, but also, I did not sleep hardly last night at all. I must have slept like three hours. Also, this makeup has currently been on all day. Oh, and that also includes the eyelash currently falling off Because my I've eye. been in Chester all day. So if it's looking a bit wishy-washy, it's because I've been wearing it all day. But I still wanted to sit down and film this video. I literally got home, opened my Beauty Bay Pass, and was like, you know what? I'm going to film this video. I'm going to give my people what the people want. Even though I don't know if you wanted this or not, but... Hey, we're sat here with... Ah! <laughs> Great one. We're vibing. I'm actually going to open up this palette now that you know what the packaging's like. Like I said in my intro, it is very reflective. It reminds me so much of the Colourpop packaging. Do you know, like, the whole, like, star effect and, like, the text? I don't know why. Like, I wouldn't say they're copying Colourpop, but I'd just say it gives me them Colourpop sort of vibe. Got into this palette, but also one thing that I wanted to mention about this palette is that it is also cruelty-free and vegan. So basically, it comes in this cardboard-style packaging. I actually like cardboard packaging for highlighter palette. As you can see from the front, it's pretty, pretty much the same as the cardboard sleeve that it comes in. <gasps> Hello! When you open up the packaging, this is what it looks like. I actually never took any notice that it came with a massive mirror, but it comes with a massive mirror, which is such a bonus. Oh my gosh, look how big that mirror is. And then these are the four shades here. So I'm going to zoom in so you can have a little bit of a nosy, a little bit of a sneak peek so you can see what the shades in this palette looks like. So this one here is the shade Moonlight Muse. I actually really like this because this is like a icy sort of silver sort of colour. This one here has more of a creamy tone to it. This is the shade First Frost. And then we've got this one down here. This looks like it's got kind of like a goldy undertone to it. It's the shade Daybreak Days. And then we've got this gorgeous purple highlighter shade here. Look how reflective they are. This is the shade Whimsical. As you can see, this palette comes with four shades and this actually retails at £12, which isn't that bad. It means it's £3 a pan. It's pretty much your drugstore sort of price range for a highlighter palette it's not too expensive but it's not like majorly cheap either it's just pretty much in the middle this also does come in four different types there are different highlighters in each of the palettes but this one is what stuck out to me the most because it looks like it's perfect for paler skin and i didn't really feel the need for the other ones i will however pop a picture up here <laughs> of the other shades that you can get. The thing that I will say that I noticed first when I saw that Beauty Bay were releasing these palettes is that they are friendly for pretty much every single skin tone. Like you've got dark highlighter shades, you've got lighter highlighter shades, you've got medium tone highlighter shades. So it's pretty much perfect for any skin tone. It's not like you look at the palette and you're like, oh, I can only get away with one shade in this palette. Like I'm pr pretty sure I can probably get away with all four of these and I may even use this one for inner corner highlight because I love a good purple for inner corner highlight. So without further ado, I'm just gonna insert some swatches so you can see what they swatch like. Okay, so firstly, you've got the shade First Frost. This is the creamy sort of one. Oh. 
Okay, that didn't swatch as well as I expected it to. And then the second shade is the shade Moonlight Muse. Oh, okay. That one swatched so much better. Look how reflective that one is. <gasps> oh my god. Next up, we've got the purpley shade. This is the shade Whimsical. Okay, so I'd say that that has more of like an icy blue undertone and that one is definitely more purple. And then finally, we've got this peachy one here. This is the shade Daybreak Days. Oh, wow. Okay, so I wasn't mad about that one and how that one swatched, but them three are absolutely stunning. They're not too glittery either which is really, really nice. Okay, so now that I've shown you what the palette actually swatches like, I think it might be a perfect time to put it on my face and see how well it works. So firstly, I think I'm gonna take this shade here, which is Moonlight Muse, and I think I'm gonna take this on this side of my face and see what this one's like. For my highlighter, I always use the same highlighter brush. I'm not sure which one this is because I think I've actually rubbed off the name. But nevertheless, I'm gonna dip into a bit of Moonlight Muse and I'm just gonna go in oh hello oh my gosh okay I'm glad these didn't let me down because I love the highlighters in the Jordan lip skin palette and oh my god Ooh, that is absolutely perfect for my skin tone as well you try and go in with another layer of that same shade and see how well it layers up Okay, it layers up really nicely as well. Okay, so that one there was the shade Moonlight Muse. And then I'm going to move on to this side of my face and I'm going to go in with this shade here. This is the shade First Frost. This is the one that didn't swatch as well, but I'm intrigued to see what it's like actually on my face. So I'm really going to swirl my brush in. Okay, that is still pretty. I wouldn't say it was as pretty as the first one that I tried. This is the second layer now, and it's not as dazzling as this side. Like, you can definitely see a difference between the two, or I hope you can, or is it just me? I don't know, I feel like I prefer this side to this side, but I always prefer this side with my highlighter anyway, compared to that one. Next up, I'm gonna take this one down here. This is the shade Daybreak Days, this is the one with like a peachy sort of undertone and I'm going to take this and I'm just going to highlight my nose, above my lip, down here on my chin and I always do my cupid's bow and at the side of my eyebrows as well. Make or break for me because I always like a good nose highlight. Ooh, okay, that is really peachy but really nice. Did take a little while though to pick up enough pigment. On top of here. You can never have too much highlight, kids. I like put some up here. Basically, I just highlight my whole face and hope for the best. Yeah, this is a really, really nice peachy undertone shade, though. I like the. I like how diverse this palette is. I'll give it that. Next up, I'm just gonna take a small flat brush for my inner corner highlight, and I'm gonna take this purple one down here this is the shade whimsical and i'm going to take this in my inner corner just because sometimes if i'm doing like more of a dramatic sort of look i like to use a purple or a green like in my aurora palette just to dazzle it up a little bit i'm also going to take this on my brow bone as well oh look at that for inner corner highlight wowee okay at least you know these shades are nice if you want a nice inner corner highlight wow Okay, that's good. Sometimes I struggle with it in a corner highlight as well. But today was one of the most pigmented out of the bunch. Just going to give you a close-up look of my face so you can see what the highlight's like. Okay, once again, please ignore my face. I've had my makeup on all day. I look a mess. I feel a mess. But it's fine. As you can see, this is what the highlighter looks like. So I use the first shade on this side here. I use the second shade on this side here. I used the third one, which was the pinky undertone one, to highlight my nose, down my nose, on top of my lip, my chin, and my cupid's bow up here. And then finally, I used the purple shade for my inner corners, which really makes my inner corners pop. Like, I like this 
in a corner one, the purpley one, and I also used it to highlight my brow bone as well, so you can kind of see how pigmented these shades are. Okay, so overall, when it comes to this palette, I would say that it is a really, really nice highlighter palette. I would say that the shades are pigmented. However, I wouldn't say it was the best highlighter palette I've ever used in my life. Like, I wouldn't say it really, really blew me away. Honestly, a couple of the shades did, but the other two were lacking in pigment a little bit and lacked that little bit of pop. I'm a little bit disappointed because the Jordan Lip Skin ones with the highlighters in were absolutely insane. So I was hoping for a formula a little bit similar to that. But I would still say that like, my Makeup Revolution highlighter. Um, I also love the highlighters from Wet n Wild. I'd say that they were a lot more impressive than this one was. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit different, or like I said, that completely would be fitted to your skin tone, then this is perfect because it does come in four different types and it is only £12. It's not like spending a ton of money. It's affordable, it is cruelty free. I would definitely use these highlighter shades again. I'm not saying they're awful, I am just wish that they were a little bit more poppy because I like more of like a radiant out the highlight like I am in love with my Ofra highlight and like my Soph X Makeup Revolution highlighter palette is really really pigmented but I'd say that this was more of not on the subtle side but I'd say that it wasn't as out there if you get what I mean. Nevertheless I really hope that you did enjoy this video and you did find it helpful. I'm really sorry that it was like literally the shortest video in the universe of any testing videos um, but nevertheless if you did enjoy it then don't forget to smash it a big massive thumbs up and also feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already make sure you do also tap that little bell down below so you are notified every single time I post a new video. Also I'm just going to put out there a little bit of self promo and just say that I am actually now doing a different makeup look on my Instagram and I'm doing mini Instagram videos on there so if you don't follow my Instagram and you want to then feel free to because I'm really really trying hard with that and it would really mean a lot. Once again thank you so incredibly much for watching and hopefully I will see you on my next video. Bye!